Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. This is your coach, Mr. Magnifico. We are now looking at Lesson 14, Module 1 from the Eureka program. Tonight with you is Bruce Almighty. And this is our task tonight. Not today, or whatever. Draw place value disks. Disks are little circles on the place value chart to solve each step using the standard algorithm. Show each step showing the standard algorithm. So that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> so here's what happens. We look at that, we see that five and 241 thousandths are going to be divided by three. So we're gonna start with the ones. So we have five ones. One, two, three, four, five, okay. So we ask ourselves, how many groups of five, of three, can we make out of five? And the answer is only one. So that's the answer here. And then we say one times three equals three. The remainder is two. So here's the remainder. Now we're going to convert these ones into tenths. If you, if you can picture this, uh, there are two tenths already here, which is the number two here. So now we're gonna bring the two down and I'm going to show you this over here. So this um, whole one is gonna broken, be broken down into 10 dimes or 10 tenths. So we're gonna write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, now this is no longer a one, now it's 10 tenths. Now this one also has to be converted into 10 tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we broke down the two ones into tenths, which is what happens right here. If we pay attention now, we have 22 tenths, and they're right here. And now we say, how many groups of three can you make out of 22 tenths? And we're gonna make groups of three now. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna write seven on the quotient. And now that's gonna be <clears throat> um, seven times three equals 21. And there has to be one left when we do this. And that's gonna be one left. And remember that if there's a decimal point here um, uh, in the number inside, you have to align the, the decimal point on the quotient. Now, if we pay attention, there is one left, which this is the one that is left. Let me put an arrow to it. So now that arrow may tell us that the tenths is gonna be converted into hundredths. And how do we do this here? So, well, we, we already divided the two, so we're gonna divide the four now. So the four, four makes it 14 hundredths. So let's do this right here. So we have four here, one, two, three, four, which is this four. And then we have one tenth, which we're gonna convert now in 10 pennies. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this one is no longer one tenth. Now it's 10 parts of a tenth. And so now again, we're gonna say how many groups of threes can we make it of 14? And the 14 are right here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, Four. So the answer is going to be four. So four times three equals 12. And the remainder is two. So now as you can see, we have two remainders. So these two need to be converted into thousands. That means each of these will become 10 parts of this thousands. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna cross that one out and this also, it's converted into ten thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you count all this, it will be this number as well. So we're gonna now lower the the one here, and let me move my camera a little bit. Okay, there it is, perfect, right there. So now this is no longer a two; it's a twenty-one, and if we continue with the steps, you can see that now, when you count the ones inside the inside this the thousandths, 
we're going to make groups of threes. So how many groups of threes can we make out of 21? 21,000, so we're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So that's going to be six. So six. Six times three equals 18. And the remainder is three, which means there is an error here because if we have three left, that means we can make another one. So let's see if this is true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, we're missing one. That's why. It's, so this should be twenty-one. Oh, the one that you should have been there, which is this one right here. So that makes it twenty-one. So now that's going to change our answer, and our answer is not is not six. It's seven. So the 3 goes into the 21 7 times. 7 times 3 equals 21. And we write that below the 21. And that's going to give us, um, allow us to see that there will be zero remainders. So this will be your answer for this division. So this will be using the place value chart. And this will be the standard algo algorithm. And the quotient will be 1 and 747 thousandths. My friends, watch the video. It's going to help you a lot. Please be proud of what you do. And signing out your coach, Mr. Magnifico.